Okay, so let's let's talk about the muffler real quick. It's, a muffler is unrelated to a heat pump. A muffler is just an accessory you can have. A lot of times you see this accessory in heat pumps uh, because they work under more extreme conditions, but a muffler is simply a hollow chamber. It might look like a filter dryer, but there's nothing inside. If you cut one open and look at it, it's, you can see, I can see straight through to you. There's nothing inside of it. Sometimes they'll have a piece of a plate with a bunch of holes in it, but really and truly, they're usually just opened up. What happens is, as I have pistons, and it's discharging pressure, and discharging pressure, and discharging pressure, you have a pulsation, right? You ever put your foot on the end of a muffler, uh, on the end of a tailpipe of a car, and you heard the tut 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 you can't hear that otherwise because you're allowing those pulsations to build up. What happens is that hot gas pulse, pulse, pulse comes into this big chamber and it allows for expansion so that pulse loses a lot of its energy. So as that pulse loses energy, now it's coming out nice and smooth. Just like in a car, you have a big area for it to come out and then you make it come smooth, it quiets it down. So instead of that refrigerator going ta -ta 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 and vibrating those lines, it allows it to muffle it by expanding and coming back down. So you don't have to hear those muffles, the pulsation on it. Any system can have a muffler, but it's not required. The engineer decides it. A muffler just makes it quieter. It muffles the sound. Unrelated to a heat pump, although a heat pump runs in more extreme conditions, so you'll see them sometimes, and a muffler goes only on the discharge line. It's the only accessory you're going to see on that discharge line is a muffler. You see them a lot of times on heat pumps, but it's not a heat pump only thing. Those compressors we saw in the lab have mufflers built into them. Inside, there's already a muffler there. It's not a specific to a heat pump thing. Does that make sense? Wait to say mufflers? It's on a discharge line. Don't get it confused with a, with a liquid line. Filter dryer. It's not. It's a muffler. What happens if I put a liquid line filter drawer in a hot gas line? Yeah. It's going to come apart. It's going to trash the whole system. All right? All right, so back to heat pumps. A reversing valve just sends the hot gas inside in the winter, or it sends the hot gas outside in the summer? It sends the hot gas inside in the winter, hot gas outside in the summer. Depends on where you want to send it. So here we have a thermostatic expansion valve, TXV. Can I use a TXV with a heat pump? Yes. yes. My sensing bulb is going to be over on the gas line, and this is going to be over in the gas line. So when the refrigerant is flowing this way, it's metering the refrigerant. This particular check, uh, TXV has a check valve built inside of it. Internally, there's a check valve built into it. So the refrigerant, when it's going this way, opens and it bypasses this metering device and goes the other way like it's not even there. When the refrigerant flows this way, the check valve closes and it meters refrigerant through it. Some brands don't have one and they actually have a pipe going over, across, down, and there's a little actual check valve around it. Train does that. American Standard does that. But you don't see them too much anymore. Most all of the manufacturers use an internal check valve. You don't see it, but it's still there. This way, it bypasses the metering device. This way, it meters it. I can also put this component outside, but I just turn it around. As the refrigerator is going this way, it's being metered. As the refrigerator is going this way, it's being bypassed. I can use the same one, I just turn it in a different direction. Right? Over here, when it's turned this way, in the summertime, is it metering refrigerant? Yes. Is it monitoring superheat? Is it trying to maintain the constant superheat? Yes. Now, the same valve in the winter time, what is it doing? Nothing. Nothing. It's bypassing like it's not even there. Follow me? Yes. Now, outside, in the summertime, what's this metering device doing in the summertime? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, in the winter time, what is this one doing? It's metering. What's it going to be doing? Monitoring superheat. We're trying to maintain the constant superheat, right? Yeah. Now, to maintain superheat, it needs the actual suction line temperature and the suction pressure converted, right? Yeah. So where is it? Where are we going to put this sensing bulb? 
The suction gas line, though, right? It can't just be the gas line. It has to be specifically the suction gas line. So where is it going to be the suction gas line? Right where it says hot gas line. That's the hot gas line, though. Right before the compressor. Right before the compressor. Because remember, this pipe is always suction no matter what. And this pipe is suction no matter what. So this sensing bulb I put there. So it's always reading suction. It only matters in the wintertime. In the summertime, it won't matter. But in the wintertime, it's reading the actual suction line temperature. It's reading the suction saturated. It's monitoring superheat. So let's go out to the lab and let's see where it's...